first of all, I'm Benny, not Professor Deco. So I have several hats here at Chiba. One would be uh, the Chief of Pediatric Nephrology. I also head the Pediatric Stem Cell Research Institute, and I'm heading the Regen Med Lab. Stem cells can be found after, you know, you fertilize the egg, right? You have the sperm and the egg, and then you generate like 64 cells, which is called a blastocyst. You know, these are the beginning of life. Stem cells are unique type of cells. Okay, so what is unique about them is that they're not differentiated. There are a couple types of stem cells. You can derive both tutipotent and pluripotent stem cells from these stages. So, you think about stem cells, you have the analogy of a baby growing up. Where you're a baby, you have lots of potential, right? You're a totipotent and pluripotent stem cells, you can become anything you want. Baker, doctor, fireman, physicist, and then you show some type of commitment. For instance, you go into art school, so you're more committed into arts, but you have potency for different types of professions within the art world. You can be a painter, a dancer, performance artist, and so forth. And then you become more committed because you go only into music, but still you have some potency to become a drummer or a flute player. But then you become committed into flute and you lose your potency and there you're a mature self. So what I described within the baby growing up is the same sort of characteristics we see in stem cell research and the different types of stem cells going from totipotent to pluripotent to multipotent to unipotent. I think stem cells are amazing. The way we can use them for modeling disease now and studying drugs, they are revolutionary in a way that we can cultivate them, grow them, expand them, in, again, in a way that we can model any disease and we can regenerate any organ we wish to. This is, of course, our dream. This is the stem cell revolution.